Welcome back, everyone. Lovely to have you here on this rainy day. I'm here to tell you guys about Lazy Llama Cafe, which just opened up at 23 Central Ave. You may know it as the former location of a coffee shop that shall not be named. If you have trouble finding it, look for the big mural by Smug and the number 23 sign. Now guys, I just went down and it's a fun family owned and operated place and you might see some familiar faces from the old joint. Let's take a look at the menu. Now what really stands out to me here is uh, the pricing and variety. You've got your hot drinks, uh, latte here, hot chocolate. The biggest size uh, is 375 for the latte and 325 for the hot chocolate. Those are 24 ounces and 20 ounces respectively. You've got bottled drinks, of course. You've got sparkling water, you've got bottled water, you've got Gatorade, juices, and smoothies. The smoothies are 250. Now, by price comparison, the smoothies at the previous place were about $5. So this is great, I'm loving this already. And then the NOBL draft. Now, I'm assuming that's the CO2 cold brew. Uh, I see cold brew lifted, listed here, the nitro. Uh, you've got coffee and you've also got water. Now, the cold brew is a bit more expensive. The 24 ounce goes for $4 and uh, the uh, nitro cold brew goes for $4.25 for a 24 ounce. You can come in at 16 ounces for $4. Now, let's take a look at some of the foods. Bagels, uh, they have a range of plain everything, cinnamon, raisin, raisin and sesame for $125, croissants $150, muffins $150, banana bread $175. Um, I got here the banana bread pudding, which I love. I love, 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 love bread pudding. So I was very excited to see it on the menu and for only $2.25 for a pretty decent sized portion. Oh, did, oh, oh. <laughs> did you get that? Did you get that? All right. They've also got tres leches for $3.75, churros for $1.50, cookies for $2.25. Now again, guys, these are amazing, amazing prices. I don't know what a Samita Alta is, but I can't wait to find out. And hopefully you'll come down and find out yourself as well. Now, breakfast sandwiches, when I'm on the go, I love to get them, but only if they're good. I don't typically get them from Dunkin' Donuts and stuff like that. They're just not that very good. I'd rather just take the extra time and make them at home. Here they have egg and cheese on bagel or croissant, and you can add sausages, bacon, or ham for a 375, 380, or 375, respectively. Um, I haven't had them yet, but I look forward to trying. That was one of my staples down there at the former coffee place. Again, we don't say those names here. Lazy Llama is all you need to know, all right? So last, but definitely not least, we go to the espresso and brewed coffee and teas menu. Again, guys, the pricing here is so appealing. The cappuccino for the 20 ounce uh, is 375, the 12 ounce 325. Uh, great value there for the 20 ounce. Cafe Americano, latte, macchiato are $3, 380 and 380 respectively for their largest sizes. Now those only come in um, iced, not sure why. <laughs> those are not my staples, but uh, you can get hot or iced on the smaller versions. Uh, espresso shots, single, 125, double, $2. I feel like that's kind of standard for coffee. Uh, and then you got your flavor syrups and sauces and milk options. Uh, your milk options include soy milk, almond milk, and macadamia for those that don't partake in cow's milk, uh, which I am one of those. So that's awesome to see that they have. Brewed coffee and teas, your light roast, dark roast flavor, it doesn't matter. I don't know exactly what flavors they have down there. I didn't check it out, but I can tell you that the 12 ounce, 16 ounce, and 20 ounce go for 185, 225, and 245 respectively. Again, guys, great, great pricing here. Um, and then they got Cafe Ole, iced coffee, iced black tea. But what really stands out here to me is the iced tea lemonade for 275 for a uh, 24 ounce. Now these drinks were well over uh, four or five dollars uh, previously, um, so this is amazing value. And uh, they say they have a Bigelow tea selection, uh, 12 ounce, 16 ounce, and 20 ounces for 175, two bucks, and 225 respectively. So if you like tea, go take a look down at their uh, selection. If you're not making it at home and you know, you're on your way to work, just running out. Again, it's an awesome, friendly place, great atmosphere. So it's nice to stop by on your way to work and you know, start your day. And uh, that's it guys, you let me know what you think. I mean, I honestly think it's awesome. I, uh, I will be visiting there when I'm getting my coffee fix outside of home. Uh, I brew it here on the regular. So, you know, I'm not a person that goes outside 
uh, for coffee a lot, but this is a place that's convenient, it's local, and I love supporting local. So once in a while when I wanna try something different, I'll be down there, especially for their amazing, amazing menu of um, cultural dishes. It's, uh, they've got Colombian, they've got El Salvadorian, uh, I'm very much, uh, and they've got Guatemala. I'm very much looking forward to uh, trying a different array of flavors and uh, items on the menu. So again, guys, it's 23 Central Ave. Look for the big mural. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments, concerns, questions. Uh, if you're gonna go down, if you did go down and what you think, I'd love to hear from you. But end of the day, give, go social support for a locally owned uh, coffee shop that uh, just opened up. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.